right now, we're talking about a company called Right Now. This is a cloud computing powerhouse, and shares have climbed more than 80% over the past 52 weeks. It's not just a one-year story, though. When it went public, it climbed 130% that year. Today, shares are hitting a 52-week high of 33.19. You haven't heard of this company? Well, it's a company that plows through 8 million consumer interactions every day for their customer service business that is in the cloud, meaning it's not on software at a business. It's up in the sky in the servers. But can it fend off growing competition like that coming from Salesforce.com? CEO Greg Gianforte has his work cut out for him. He has just been appointed to a key commission to help grow the economy and create jobs through cloud technology, which has gotten bigger and bigger since we first brought it to you from our Three Days in the Valley special and series way back in 2008. Greg's coming up in a Fox Business exclusive. Time for the... The days of pressing zero a hundred times just to reach a customer representative will soon be over if this company has anything to do with it. They're taking customer service to the cloud for more than 2,000 companies. The CEO of Right Now is coming up in a minute in a Fox Business exclusive. A cloud computing company stock up more than 80% over the past year. This is an industry that didn't even exist a couple of years ago and it's hitting a 52 week high today. But the biggest of all big, Microsoft, about to spend billions on research and development in the cloud. What does that mean? We'll ask the CEO of a company called Right Now how he plans to keep his head start on the big guys. Well, our next guest is aiming for the clouds, and it is paying off big time. In fact, shares of the company he runs, which is called Right Now Technology. Look at this chart. This is so impressive, okay? But it goes longer than that. I mean, since they, they had their IPO, I think their IPO back in 2004, the stock was up 130%. They're up 80% year over year. Today, shares hitting a 52-week high. Joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive from Bozeman, Montana, is Greg Gianforte. He's the CEO of Right Now Technologies. Greg, really great to have you here because you've got this company and I was talking to our viewers earlier and saying you know what cloud computing and the solution of the cloud which means it's not stuck on on a, on software in a computer is really something that has burgeoned over the past couple of years but what do you think you've done with your company which is basically for consumer customer service cloud technology that has been so right that the stock is reflecting that as well yeah, thanks. It's great to be with you, Liz. It's uh, really my pleasure. And, you know, we're, we're solving a very real problem today. Consumers are frustrated. They want uh, faster access to information. They want to be served. And that's what we do. We provide customer experience software in the cloud to help large consumer businesses and government agencies deliver a better experience. We do this work for people like Nikon around the world, uh, Black & Decker, uh, Yahoo, the U.S. Air Force, and many firms like this, about 2,000 clients in total, and we serve about 8 million consumers a day. Specifically, companies like what we have on the screen, Toshiba, Nutrisystem, PayPal, where you need a lot of customer support. But let's just clarify, because people sometimes need to understand a little bit better here. You, you do have people on the other end speaking on a phone, correct? You still have the human interaction. You do, and, and uh, we don't provide the staffing. We're a technology company, but we partner with our clients yep. uh, and outsource partners to deliver a better experience. And, and really, the key here is about helping empowering consumers to help themselves. And the reality is, um, when people go to a website, they don't go there hoping to send an email to a company. They go there hoping to find an answer. And, that's the, that's, that's the heart of the value proposition we give to our clients. But how secure is it? I mean, I think about cloud computing, and we started talking about this way back in 2008 before a lot of people were, because we went out to Silicon Valley to do our three days in the Valley coverage, and suddenly we were talking to everybody who said it's, everything's going to the cloud, meaning no more shrink-wrapped suite of, of software, like what Microsoft was doing, and suddenly you've got Microsoft putting in massive amounts of money to look at cloud computing. What does that mean for you guys? What does it mean for your company and the industry at large? Yeah, we recognize we're running mission critical systems for our clients and get what could be more precious to a company than who their customers are and the dialogues they're having with them. It often includes personal credit card information. Yeah. In the case of uh, uh, the US military, we actually operate a cloud 
offering for the Department of Defense, where we have all the appropriate security clearances. And, and, and Liz, honestly, the reality is few things are less secure than software sitting on a, a computer without a lot of people watching mm -hmm. it. So by moving it to the cloud, uh, we can surround it with appropriate security measures and, and actually increase the level of security. You've got competitors out there that perhaps have names that are more familiar, Oracle, SAP, Salesforce.com, which is about $15 billion market cap, bigger than yours. Uh, how do you beat those guys back? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. I mean, in the case of Oracle, we, we've, uh, we've replaced the Oracle products at uh, Toshiba, at Motorola, at really? Nike, around the world, Sony, PlayStation, in large part because the older model, the non-cloud approach where you had to put in hardware and connect it all together is more expensive, it takes longer, and, and honestly, the, the vendors haven't been very responsive to the customer. So in, in that case, um, the, the, this transition we're seeing away from on-premise business applications to the cloud gives us a huge advantage. In the case of uh, other software as a service or cloud vendors, uh, we're really the only company that said we're going to help large consumer businesses deliver better experiences and their interactions. Prior companies that have focused on CRM, honestly, we've focused on internal business processes, yeah. mm -hmm. not the external client interaction. And, and as a result, we're, we're, we're the only firm we know of that said that's our exclusive focus, and that gives us a real competitive advantage in the marketplace. Well, your stock has an advantage. We're showing it, comparing it to Salesforce.com, and this is a classic case, Greg, what you just outlined, where the little guy, the lesser-known name, comes up from behind and bites the big boys. We're watching you closely. Your stock hitting a 52-week high today. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you coming on. It's my pleasure. Greg Gianforte, Right Now Technologies is the company. He's the CEO and did it all not from Silicon Valley, but Montana. Love that. Closing bell ring.